Unhand them, you ruffian. Oh, s**t. And bring the stupid food. Got his Ah, 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 No, you're not. How you not get it? Power of baloney. Whoa, he got baloney. Ah! I suggest you run. Are you okay, citizen? Thank you, Blank Man. You saved me from those criminals. Of course. Brother Leem here with another episode of TLDR. We're often told you should never eat anything or put anything in your body if you don't recognize everything that's on the ingredients list. But since most of us have no idea what xanthan gum or potassium benzoate are, more importantly, what they're doing to our bodies, we're decoding what's in Oscar Mayer's bologna. Bologna has 18 ingredients. That's right, 18. And here they are for your viewing pleasure. These are four of the most interesting. Number one, that hydrolyzed beef stock. I know what you think. This sounds like something that X to the Z exhibit would do to a car. Roll the clip, Lou. Oh, what the hell? We got the new Rockford Fosgate, eight inch woofers in there. But this ingredient is a flavor enhancer produced by boiling beef stock and hydrochloric acid, then neutralizing solution with sodium hydroxide. The result is pure amino acid, which are often used to give processed food a fuller flavor, similar to the way MSG is used. Dextrose. Dextrose is a sugar derived from starches like corn. Fun fact, dextrose has a high glycemic index, meaning it quickly raises blood sugar levels, so it's used in IV solutions to treat low blood sugar and dehydration. People with diabetes might also consume dextrose tablets to raise their blood sugar levels if they become dangerously low. Because of this blood sugar boosting effect, consuming dextrose also provides an almost immediate jolt of energy. Then, the inevitable crash. Sodium diacetate. Sodium diacetate is an acidic sodium salt widely used as a preservative to control the growth of mold and bacteria in food. It's also commonly added to meat and poultry as a pH regulator. I guess it's a good thing there's something to prevent from the mold, right? Sodium nitrate. You ever wonder how how this bologna has been able to maintain this wonderful pinkish red tint is because of all this sodium nitrate, which stabilizes the red color in cured meats, which prevents the meat from naturally turning gray. Adding nitrate to food can lead to the formation of small amounts of nitrosamine, a carcinogen. Not to mention, bologna also contains sodium phosphates, which can wreck your kidneys, and sodium nitrates, which can cause cancer. All in all, this bologna is full of bologna. To watch more episodes of TLDR, follow us on Facebook. I'm Brother Leem, and the government is proudly slipping brain chips in this here bologna. Ugh.